it can seem extremely overwhelming if you've got 600 ideas. Start with one of them. I don't care which one. Obviously it would make sense to go with the best one, but it really doesn't even matter. But what matters is that you start. You take it from an idea to an execution, and that takes work, that takes effort, and that takes you having the mindset to stop thinking, stop procrastinating, stop dwelling, and start doing. So just start. How can you figure out what your strengths are if you don't try things? Uh, that's what that phrase means. <laughs> How can you figure out what you're best at if you're not trying things out? Uh, I mentioned a book that I just got done reading uh, by Dan Fleischman uh, called "How to Create or How to Start Your Business in Under a Thousand Dollars," and I've been I've been promoting that book to a lot of people because a lot of people have been asking me, you know, hey, I've got a lot of different ideas, you know, how do you decide what what kind of business you want to start, uh, different things like that. And I think this book is so uh, relevant and so important in that it gives you the blueprint to start a business but not put a lot of capital into starting that business. So it gives you the ability, if you're like me, you've got tons of ideas. I have ideas every single day that I'm writing down in the notes on my phone or, or jotting down in my journal, whatever that may be. Uh, but it gives you the idea to test out or it gives you the ability to test out some of those ideas that you have and see if they're legitimate or to see if it's something not worth pursuing. You want to get to that um, uh, result you want to identify, you know, if this is a winner or if it's something to, <laughs> to just pass on with as little of capital capital expended as possible. But one thing I wanted to mention, just because I do like to see if I can, you know, provide some value, not just get on here and like, ah, I just sold 43 policies, hooray, you know, whatever. Uh, that's you know, that's that's great. Uh, but I wanted to be able to provide some actual real value. One thing I was just thinking as I was driving back to my hotel here is that. You know, the way that you can create massive action and create massive activity during a day uh, like today is to schedule massive action, schedule massive activity in a day. And I, and I know that sounds very elementary, right? It sounds uh, extremely uh, simple, but like all great things, there's things that are easy to do, but they're just as easy, if not easier, and I would say easier, uh, not to do it. The success of our business has been based off of creating a system that was simple. Simple. And that simple doesn't mean easy. No. Simple just means it's clearly defined, yep. and that you have you're clear on what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it how you're supposed to do it and then you insert the most important part which is the work right and so beyond waking up early it's what you do before you go to sleep so the night before uh, planning out your day oh, yeah. um, the saying or well, you know that we've said a million times that if if you don't have to plan you're planning to fail yeah uh, or if you fail to plan you're planning, um, planning to fail um, being able to map out what your day is going to look like mm -hmm.